Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this problem sum on volume of cubes and cuboids. It is that the water level in a rectangular tank 65 centimeters long and 45 centimeters wide is 14 centimeters. It will take another 58.5 liters of water to fill the tank to its brim. Find the height of the tank. Okay, so there's a rectangular tank that looks something like this. Okay, now the water level in this tank is 14 centimeters, which doesn't mean that the height of the tank is 14 centimeters. It means that there's water fill in this tank and the level of water in this tank is 14 centimeters. Okay, now what is the length? Well, the length of the tank is 65 centimeters. So this is 65 centimeters. This is 45 centimeters. That's the width or the breadth and the level of water is 14 centimeters. Suppose that this is until where there is water in the tank, about this level, okay? So this, if this is zero centimeters, that's the base for the bottom of the tank, then this is 14 centimeters. And we have to find out what this level is, okay? Or what the height of the tank is. So let's do that. Uh, well, since there's already water in the tank, let's put some water in the tank. So there's water until 14 centimeters of height. So this is the water inside the tank. Okay. Now, if we pour another 58.5 liters of water into the tank, then the tank will be filled to the brim, which means it will be filled to its maximum capacity. Okay, now this is how much your 58.5 liters of water will be. Okay, so the tank is already filled till 14 centimeters. If we pour another 58.5 liters of water, then it will be filled to the top. Now, how do we find out the height of the tank? Well, we know the length of the tank. We know the width or the breadth of the tank. And if we can find out what the maximum volume of this tank is or what its maximum capacity is, then we can easily plug all those numbers that we know into the formula of volume and that will give us the height of the tank, right? Pretty simple. So how do we do that? How do we find out what the capacity of the tank is? Well, we know that from here to here is 58.5 liters of capacity, right? Now, how do we find out what is the capacity from here from the base till 14 centimeters it's pretty simple right we know that volume is equal to length times breadth times height right now the volume of water until 14 centimeters okay so the volume of water until 14 centimeters would be equal to the length, which is 65 centimeters, times the breadth, which is 45 centimeters, times the height, which is 14 centimeters, right? That will give us the volume of water until 14 centimeters. That is how much water is already there in the tank, right? So this is 65 times 45 times 14. How about I simply use a calculator? 65 times... 45 times 14. That is equal to 40,950. Okay, so 40,950 cubic centimeters. That, well, actually, that is equal to 40.950 liters, right? Because 1,000 cubic centimeters are equal to 1 liter, so 40,950 cubic centimeters would be equal to. 40.950 liters, okay, or simply 40.95 liters. So basically, we divide 40,950 by 1,000, okay, to get the volume of water in liters. All right, so this is equal to 40.95 liters. Now, from here, what can you tell about the capacity of the container or the tank? Well, quite obviously, it is 40.95 liters plus... 58.5 liters, right? That's the maximum amount of water that the tank can hold. 
right? So the capacity of the tank is equal to 40.95 plus 58.5. Well, how much is that equal to? Well, that's equal to 40.95 plus 58.5. So 99.45 liters, 99.45 liters. So that's how much water it can hold when it is filled to the brim or to the top. Okay, so now that we know the capacity and now that we know what the length is and what the breadth of the tank is, can we find out what the height of the tank is? Now, how do we do that? Well, we use the exact same formula volume that we used before to find out the height let's see how okay so let's make some room here the capacity is 99.45 liters okay we don't want to erase that okay so the maximum volume or volume max or capacity is equal to length times breadth times the height of the tank okay now, 99.45 liters is equal to length, which is 65 centimeters, times the breadth, which is 45 centimeters, times the height, the height of the tank, okay? It's no longer 14 centimeters because when we use the maximum volume, that will give us the maximum water level or the total height of the rectangular tank. All right, so now this is 99.45 liters. The length is 65 centimeters. The breadth is 45 centimeters. And the height is what we have to find out. Okay, so from here, quite simply, the height or H is equal to 99.45 liters divided by 65 centimeters, right? 65 centimeters times 45 centimeters, right? We take this whole thing and move it to the other side of the equal sign. And when we do that, this whole thing has to be divided by the volume, right? All right, so now how do we calculate the height? Well, we've got a few different units here. We've got liter here and we've got centimeter here and here. And in order to simplify this equation, we've got to change them all to the same unit, right? So let's do that. Well, 99.45 liters is actually equal to 99.45 times 1,000 cubic centimeters, right? Because one liter has got 1,000 cubic centimeters and that divided by 65 centimeters and 45 centimeters okay so well what is that equal to i'm simply going to use a calculator for that so we have 99.45 already punched in times 1000 and that is 99450 divide that by 65 and divide that whole thing again by 45 and that gives you 34 so this is equal to, the height is equal to 34 centimeters. Okay, so quite simply, the height of the tank is equal to 34 centimeters. All right, that's it about this word problem. Quite an easy one, I believe. Well, I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing up for now. Bye.